What's up everyone, Mark Lobiner, TigerFitness.com, check it out. This comes from Zotac. Zotac. Hey Mark, and do you think that for a person who's looking to build muscle, a caloric surplus maintained for 8 to 10 months, aka the old style bulking, is better? Or cyclical bulking, as Vince Del Monte is calling it, you eat in a surplus for 20 days or so, then you get in a deficit, so after that you get back in a surplus, while your body is more likely to build muscle, not fat. Thank you in advance. I like Vince Del Monte. He has a very nice kitchen. And anybody with a kitchen that nice is someone who I'm a fan of. Now, I don't agree. Here's the thing. I don't think 20 days is enough to do shit. I think it takes your body time to get into that zone. I like to bulk nice and slow. Now bulking for me, I think surplus is a bullshit word. I think maintenance is a bullshit word. And I think deficit is a bullshit word because our metabolisms change on an even more rapid pace than daily. Okay, I have my clients check in daily. Literally daily where I will make adjustments on the fly. John Otis Hollywood, my partner, does this as well with his clients when they get close to the show. Difference is, I've, I don't believe he does it for everyone every single day, but John, as I've said, is the greatest trainer on earth. Um, not including myself. I think we're an even, I, I don't know, we're, we're both fucking awesome, okay? I'm not gonna get me to compare myself with John. I love John. John's my bed buddy. All right, so check it out, guys. I am. Um, I do not like short bulks. I do not like shortcuts. I like sh shortcuts, get it? Six pack shortcuts. You want abs like me. Okay, so check it out, man. What I recommend you do is you bulk slowly. 0.5 to one pound. Now, I do not believe in the old school eight to 10 months unless you can gain 0.5 to one pound and maintain a favorable body fat percentage, which is under 12 to 15% for those of you anal bodybuilders like myself. Now, Hold on, product placement, I gotta put the logo. See, look at the Tiger Fitness logo. Now, for cutting, I recommend you cut till you get to the body fat you want, losing one to two pounds a week. So 0.5 to one gain when bulking, one to two pounds loss when cutting. Now, I don't like that whole cyclical bulking. I don't like eating like a fat pig and gaining weight than cutting down. Because your body takes time to get into the zone when you start making those gains. And I like it like cutting. I mean, my clients, I always give them, and don't, I usually, for some people, not everyone, I'll give, I'll give them a week to get into the zone for free. I'll be like, look, here's what we do. The first week, I'm gonna fill you up. So I give them their calories, which is based on what I feel will work best for them. About 80 to 90% of the time, I'm dead on just from experience. There's no ratios, no nothing. I just go by feel. I go by the information that, that I'm given on my, my about form that I send them, a questionnaire. And uh, you can have my clients uh, attest to the fact that I'm pretty damn dead on. And within a week, I know exactly where I want them with calories. From there, I either slowly decrease calories and increase cardio with cutting people and with bulking I do the exact opposite and increase calories and decrease cardio. Now, where do I increase carbs, fat or protein? It all depends how they respond and that's why I require daily weigh-ins because then I can go and I can figure out what works best for them. So I can add fat one day, oh shit, something bad happened, take it away. Add carbs one day, oh shit, take it away. And you go by all these science things, all these fucking armchair quarterbacks on YouTube saying, Alan, you need 0.4, I know you need one to 1.5 grams per pound of body weight of protein. That's about all I know and I don't like to get my fat below 50 grams. Other than that, it's all one fucking question mark. And what I've found is that with my diets, as seen on Facebook, uh, <laughs> that, that I usually can have people eating much, much, much much more calories than they've ever eaten before and either gain lean mass and lose fat during a bulk, as you see my boy Brian Kwok, he's crushing it, or lose fat and maintain a high metabolism while cutting, as you see my boy Chris Harris. Um, so those are just two examples, but I have hundreds of them. Um, and also you saw with my brother, eating more calories than most people do in the off season while dieting to win his IFPA pro card. Harry Vlahos winning WMBF Worlds. So I mean, you got a lot of, um, a, a lot of examples. And then you also got the standard everyday person. You got David Pope out in Wyoming, my CPA, my accountant. All right, this guy's a genius at numbers, but when it comes to numbers for dieting, I've taken him from near, th well, 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 near 400 pounds, and now he's about to break 270. So whether it be for the competitor or this and that, I do not believe that standard procedures and 
bulking and mini bulks and mini cuts, I don't believe they work. I believe the controlled strategy where you start really, you get or you start really lean, unless you have no muscle mass. I, I will take someone with 50% body fat who has very little muscle and try to recomposition them to gain lean mass and lose fat at the same time and it usually works. Or just gain slightly more um, fat and gain way more lean mass. And I know you're saying, bro, that's not possible. It fucking happens. Okay, I'm not gonna cite a fucking study. I'm not gonna give you my DNA. I'm not gonna slap my dick on the camera lens. At the end, probably flick it up there. I'm, I'm Caucasian, it's not that big. So, you know, the bottom line is, is that for 20 days, I don't believe that's enough time to really get into the bulk. And I believe if you're gaining 0.5 to one pounds, you've gained one pound in 20 fucking days. Who fucking cares? Then you diet down, you lose that pound. I'm, I'm not agreeing with you, Vince. I love you. I think you're a great guy. We've spoken offline, but we're going to agree to disagree on this. And if your method works for your clients, by all means, keep doing it. There's more than one way to do it. But in my opinion, when I'm training people, when I'm offering the advices, I'm going to say, fuck cyclical walking. It's not my thing. Not, not, not what I feel works best. Now, I might change my mind later. And I'm not, I'm not saying that it's not the best way. And I might be like, fuck, I was wrong all along. I've done that before. Shit, I wrote an article once that said, you'd be an idiot to drink oil. In an article when I was a low fat guy back in my weeder days. This was fucking 12 years ago. But, but still, we all reserve the right to change our minds. So, no, I don't think that cyclical bulking is cool. It's not my thing, but if it works for you, by all means do it. I am a supporter of anything that helps you reach your goals. I'm Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, because gaining lean mass and losing fat, of course, we all know, it's not a game.